Hey guys, this is Zane here. Today I'm going to be doing another How to Not Be a New video for Battlefield 4. We're going to go over some basic tips and tricks just to help keep you from being at the very bottom of the list. Alright, let's see. So, the first trick, I almost burped right there, sorry guys. <laughs> the first trick I have for you guys is choose the map, or on the map that you choose, <coughs> the map you join into, choose a gun that is good for that map. There are certain guns in the game that are better for certain ranges. The SCAR H is better for medium to long range. It has a slow fire rate so it's not going to be as good as such as the, the AEK for those f close quarter combat situations. Today we're playing on um, we're actually playing in the test range which is part of Paracel Storm so we'll go ahead and go with the Ace 23 Ace 23 has a fire rate of 770 rounds per minute um, it's pretty good it's actually considered by most to be one of the best guns in the game it's pretty good at close medium and long range you can't go wrong with choosing the Ace let's go ahead and spawn in now alright let's go ahead and see here first off right here I want to show you guys I feel like a lot of people don't actually know what these are these right here are commander crates commander mode is a new mode that's in um, well it's actually it was not in battlefield 3 it wasn't a new mode but it's back in battlefield 4 now and this will actually let's see if it does it in test range this will actually replenish your ammo Yep, replenish your ammo on the battlefield you can also switch your kit on one of these. There's two different commander crates. You have your friendly commander crate and your enemy commander crate. Your enemy commander crate, you cannot switch your kit on, but you can get more ammo of it. And it also actually will heal you back up instantly. Well, not instantly, but it heals you fast. All right. Now, let's talk about firing All right here we're gonna focus on managing that recoil alright now a lot of people they'll go and I don't wanna fuck up those clean slides right there they'll go and they'll just automatically hold down the fire and not countering the recoil at all now as you notice there my gun actually came up and slightly started coming to the right every gun in this game has a unique recoil this isn't Call of Duty guys um, they <laughs> fuck you, Call of Duty. No, I like Call of Duty, but this isn't a Call of Duty tutorial. Every gun in this game has a unique recoil pattern. It's best to learn the guns that you like the best to learn their recoil. This gun goes up, and as it started going up, it slightly goes to the right. Now, it's very easy to counter that recoil. So, now, as I start firing, I'm going to start pulling straight down and slightly to the left. Alright guys, let's see how this works. Now, you can see that the bullet spread is a lot better on this one. At the end, I kind of pulled it down a little low. But, here's not. And then here is. Pretty simple thing to do. It's going to, especially at those longer ranges. When it gets to the closer ranges, it's easier to spray a little bit more. And I'm out of ammo. Shit. Tip, next tip, always be watching your ammo. <laughs> Alright, we're going to try it again. We're going to try it from a little bit farther now. <clears throat> Another thing to do, as you start becoming further and further away from the target, 
holding down the trigger is going to make it very hard to stay consistent with your aim. There's something called burst fire, tap firing, micro bursting. All right, guys. So you slightly just tap the mouse button, or if you're playing on console, type tap the trigger to be able to get a much more accurate fire rate. Now, as you do this, you still want to try to compensate for those recoils. Let's see if we can make the burst any any tighter. Now, as you can see, the further away you go, the more spread there is going to be on your bullets. That's why it's always best to manage that recoil as best as possible. Alright guys, now we're going to be going over peaking corners a little bit. I can promise you that if you do this, if this is the only thing you take from my, uh, my video today, is peaking corners, that your KD will go up as long as you do it right. Lots of people you'll see just run straight Rambo out of a corner and if there's anybody sitting here or sitting right there watching that corner you're gonna get shot down instantly what I want you guys to get used to doing is coming and checking those corners peeking instead of just Ramboing out check those corners if there's a guy camping right there pop him in his face let's see here we're actually gonna make believe that this statue right here is a enemy alright is an enemy alright so there's this neat little feature in Battlefield 4 to where you actually get a lean out effect where you don't actually do anything see how my character's gun actually starts to swivel right there now if you continue to aim down sights your character will actually pop their head out right there now you can get a little peek and come back before now you can actually disable that feature um, but I don't see having I don't see it being a problem. It never bothers me. As long as you come around and really start checking those corners, I promise you, you will increase your KD ratio. That's the big problem that Raxon has. He never peeks those corners. He goes Rambo. Otherwise you're gonna see somebody who's sitting there just waiting for you to come around that corner and they're gonna blow your head off. You don't want to get your head blown off. All right, we're going to step over to the firing range now. Now we're going to talk about proper shooting technique. Um, we went over a little bit recoil um, compensation. Now I want to talk about um, the difference that happens as you're strafing versus standing normal. All right. Now, as you start strafing and shooting down the trigger, there's going to be a lot more bullet spread. You see how much that bullet spread was there? Now, if I sit there and go straight, look at that look at how much tighter those bullets were alright so we're gonna put in a couple of our techniques now um, we're gonna start using the strafe in the cover we're actually gonna start get out of my face bitch but we're gonna peek our corners stand still and we're gonna start using our tap fire going through all of the techniques that we learned today okay let's see here pretty easy guys alright this is one of the most important things that I think you can do in um, in battlefield any battlefield game also um, right next to peeking your corners this and peeking your corners are the two most important things that I want you to do alright this is called spotting now um, on I know in BF3 it was select or back for the consoles on um, I know it changed for Battlefield 4 on PC it's Q now what this does it puts a little orange marker over your head it will do the same thing for enemies but it looks like a little triangle it looks like a little Dorito over their head this what it this does is see how I come around this corner I can see all these characters marked all around the place so all I know exactly where they are anytime like that you better bet that your enemies are gonna be spotting your asses all the time alright guys all it takes is a quick quick cue and boom they're spotted for your whole team 
spotted there you go now if you do spot an enemy even though you don't kill them if someone else comes and destroys that vehicle or dest kills that person you'll actually get spot assist bonuses alright guys so there is reason to do that and it's very easy to start doing um, I know it feels a little weird when you're going in and you start to see somebody and you're trying okay I think I should need to um, manage my recoil start tap firing and everything have pressing Q or pressing select whatever button it is for whatever um, console you're playing on make sure you do that as an every time thing peek your corner see an enemy spot them start shooting instantly every time it will help I promise you guys that these little short tips and tricks will help your KD improve and will also help you start winning it for your team alright guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe for videos more videos like this one <laughs> I always fuck up my own outro this is Saiyan signing out for Saiyan and Raxon be sure to check us out in the next one and I'll see you there Oh, 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 oh,